Greetings, YouTubers. Today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 things that I think you need in order to start your own at home studio. I've been cutting out of my house for about two years. It's worked great for me. Um, before that, I worked at a barber shop like another two years where I got a lot of good experience and I was able to build a good clientele base. I think that's very important, so that's my first thing on this list, clientele. Um, if you have a lot of expenses, people to take care of, you can't go a long time without having money flowing in. So if you're gonna start this, I think it's important to already have a lot of people that you can easily shift over to start coming to your house. The next thing you need is a designated room in your house. Um, you don't want to be cutting people in your kitchen that's unprofessional or wherever else. Um, you don't want home life uh, interfering with your business. Free, um, a station. Your station is going to be the centerpiece of your studio. So make sure it represents you. You can use almost anything you want to hold up your tools, um, but you don't want to use just anything. You want to use something that's built for the task. Uh, you don't want to be using like an old desk or like a little mini outdoor table. It's just not going to give off the best message. The next thing is the chair. And chair is really like everything I was saying about the station. It, it reflects you. So you want something that's high quality. You want something that people can take seriously so that they can take you seriously. Um, I don't think that anyone should just get a little, you know, waiting chair or something off of Amazon that doesn't recline because you want to be able to give people the full service, not uh, just a, a half service just because it's at your house. Um, and number five, tools. Tools are very important. I don't need to tell everyone which tools and which tools they should get, which tools they shouldn't get, but just whatever tools that you would use in a shop, make sure you're using at your house. Um, don't half-ass it. Uh, don't use Walmart clippers. You need to basically compensate for the fact that you're cutting at your house. So everything has to be um, high quality, professional. Um, again, if you want people to take you seriously. Uh, the next thing I think is very important, uh, a booking app. A booking app does multiple things for your business. It keeps it organized and it takes a lot of the work off your shoulders. If you're cutting hair and you have a bunch of people calling you trying to figure out your availability, your prices, your services, it's gonna really mess up your workflow. So having a designated area where interested clients or people who may be your clients in the future can go to to check out your services, check out your prices, and then make an appointment, very important. Another thing is security. If you have people coming through your house, you wanna weed out the bullshitters. Um, so the fact that Booksy, that's the booking app I use, it requires every potential client to put in their phone number, their email, and their card information before they make an appointment. Not many people who are planning on uh, faking on you or, you know, just people without the best intentions are not really gonna be willing to put their card information in. So that's just another way to protect you in your business and whoever lives in your house. So the next thing uh, that kind of piggybacks off the last topic is uh, security. Um, it's not a huge business or a mansion, you're not a millionaire, you, you're the, you don't have hired bodyguards, so you are your last line of defense. Um, so for me, the thing that I, um, that I use for security is uh, a ring doorbell and a ring floodlight. Floodlight for the back of the house, doorbell for the front of the house. And basically, I can see a person before they come up and ring the doorbell. If someone comes to just scope out, I can see them. I get a notification immediately to my phone. And also I can, um, I can converse with whoever is on the other side, just through my phone without even having to go to the door. So that's another, another way to protect me and my family. 
Another thing I use um, is a nine millimeter pistol. I have it in my hip, under my apron, pretty much at all times. I don't really talk about it much. Um, but it's just another thing that makes me feel safer. I mean, I have a baby in the house. I have a girlfriend in the house. Um, and if anything were to happen, it just makes me feel a lot more comfortable. And my girlfriend, it makes her feel a lot more comfortable knowing that I have a gun, even if I would hate to ever have to use it. Um, so number nine, the next thing on the list is landlord's approval. Um, before I even started this, I got my landlord's approval. Um, at first he said no, about a week later though, he called back, I was like, it's just gonna be appointment only? Yeah. It's just gonna be at most 10 people a day? Yeah. So he was cool with it. Um, he even helped me find a plumber to install the, uh, the um, shampoo bowl. So just having that extra support is really helpful. It gives you a good peace of mind um, when you're trying to run a little small business. Um, and the next thing is a way to check out clients with credit cards, debit cards. I use a Square card reader. Um, it's very important to have something like that uh, because most people are not carrying cash these days and it also makes you just look a bit more professional. In fact, some people are surprised when I say that, yes, I could take cards. Um, and it's, it's a streamlined way. I don't want people Venmo on me and then cash apping me. Um, so it's either cash or swipe. And I think that's a very easy and efficient way that other people can do it as well. Um, so yeah, that's my 10 things I think are very important if you're just trying to start an in-home studio. Um, if you have any questions, uh, about anything on the list or you want to ask me anything else about how it's been uh, running a business out of my house uh, just message me on Instagram my name on Instagram is nwj underscore styles or just leave uh, a comment in, in the inbox below uh, are they called inboxes? I don't know just leave a comment and I'll try my best to get to it it's not like I have a lot of comments because I'm just starting out but anyways yeah Thank you for watching if you stuck along this whole time and thank you.